Face masks. Do they stop the spread of COVID-19 or other respiratory viruses? Well, it seems like the evidence would suggest that no, face masks make little to no difference in how many people catch flu-like illnesses such as COVID-19. And there is also no difference in wearing medical or surgical masks compared to wearing the N95 or P2 respirators. If surgical masks don't really make a difference, then I'm not going to comment on the cloth masks that you see people wearing. Those are just a little bit ridiculous. So where does this evidence come from? Well, this evidence comes from the Cochrane Group, who would be considered sort of the gold standard uh, in terms of interpreting scientific evidence. Now, a little bit of background on them. Uh, they are a not-for-profit organization that do not take any commercial or conflicted funding. Moreover, they're an international network with their headquarters based in the UK. Now, it may be of interest then just to go over once more what we mean by scientific evidence and then go into details that the Cochrane Group have released. So let me call up here just our hierarchy of scientific evidence again. At the very top of this is our strongest type of evidence. At the very bottom is our weakest. And we can see here from the bottom that our weakest evidence are case reports, opinion papers and letters. Sitting above this are animal trials. And then a step above that are what is known as cross-sectional studies. Now, cross-sectional studies are observational studies where we describe data collected about a population at a single point in time. These type of studies do not prove any kind of causality. Above this are case-controlled studies. This is another kind of observational study which compares two groups of people, those with the disease or condition, compared to a very similar group of people who share common characteristics but do not have a disease or condition. The level above this is what is known as cohort studies. So this is where you take groups of people, and again, this is another kind of observational data, and you follow these two groups of people over time, and then you try to measure what sort of differences are in the outcomes over time with it. A very famous example of this is a cohort study on nurses. So they looked at a large group of nurses, those who smoked, those who didn't, and then measured the health outcomes of both of those. So that's a quite a good example of what a cohort study is. The one above this is something you've probably heard a lot about over the last few years, known as randomized controlled trials. Somewhat similar to a cohort study, this is where you take two groups of people, again, who share very common characteristics, and then there is an intervention in these groups, i.e. you give one a new kind of drug, you give the other type the placebo, and then you see what the outcomes of those are. Finally, what sits above this is where you pull together a lot of data of different randomized controlled trials. You try to assess what sort of bias is in those trials and then look at the outcomes from that, which is what the Cochrane Group are quite famous for doing. And again, these are the gold standard. Let's get straight into the information that they have released. So these people looked at 78 different randomized controlled trials six of which were new trials that were conducted during the COVID-19 pandemic. And again, just to get straight into what the information is, uh, wearing face masks in community probably makes little or no difference to the outcome of COVID-like illnesses compared to not wearing face masks. Uh, and again, we can say this with a moderate certainty. So we just rated low, moderate or high. And so this is pretty much the best evidence that we'll probably get regarding this topic. Moreover, they also looked at the evidence of N95 masks, as I mentioned before, and once again, they found that there was little to no difference in wearing N95 masks compared to wearing surgical masks as well. Now, to jump down to the author's conclusions, and they did note that there was a risk of bias in these trials. However, this is the best information that we have, and therefore, that's the only information that we can actually go off. And moreover, just to restate, the pool results of these 78 randomized control trials do not show a clear reduction in respiratory viral infection with the use of medical and surgical masks, and there were no clear differences between the use of medical surgical grade masks compared with N95 P2 respirators. That's pretty much the information that I wanted to get out to people. Uh, if they wish to learn a little bit more, feel free to go to their website here at the Cochrane Library to read this for yourselves. Thanks again for stopping by.